Hello and welcome to another nature photography video and today I've come to this lake here in West Yorkshire and I'm with Espen Helland who is somewhere around the lake I'm not quite sure where he is but I'll find him and um, we're both going to be shooting around here trying to get any wildlife shots and probably probably ducks and swans on the water so Ellen's shooting Elland? no Espen sorry Espen um, Espen's shooting with a Canon 7D So there's actually a lot of potential here for photography. Um, I'm always looking for these places where you can get really low to the water, so those low level shots of ducks and geese and swans. So from that point of view it's really good and the backgrounds are excellent. Got lovely colours over there which are going to reflect into the water. But the biggest problem you can probably see is that I'm completely in shade here. Nicely lit over there on the water and the other side. But this side of the water is completely in shade which makes it really difficult for photography. Very difficult lighting conditions. Um, in fact, I can see Espen lying on the ground. I think Espen's found a good shot. Oh, I think Espen's found a good place. Um, he's lying flat on the ground with the camera literally inches above the water surface. And uh, I think he's found a better spot than me. Espen might get this. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. Today I'm with Espen Helens, who's also got a YouTube channel, so do check out Espen's channel, which is really, really good if you're into wildlife photography. And we are, what are we doing? We're just by a lake somewhere in West Yorkshire, uh, <laughs> by the edge of a pond, and we're trying to, yeah, we're basically trying to concentrate uh, on low level pictures of ducks and swans and whatever else comes past here. Yeah, um, some good gulls here as well, and we had a kingfisher, but it's a bit small and way over the other side. Few sightings of kingfisher. I'm shooting with the Canon 70 Mark II, and I got the 100-400 um, Mark II lens with the 1.4 extender, uh, which is kind of helpful here because uh, they're not always as close as, you, as you'd like them to. Uh, so yeah, we're just shooting, like you said, ducks, gulls, everything. And it's like an overcast-ish day, so we're just waiting for. Uh, bits of light kind of coming through and uh, really lighting up these birds. And I've got my 1DX and I've got a 500F4 which is the, the heavy beast, the Mark 1. How's it going here? What do you reckon? Very good. It's a good spot. It's a good spot you picked. I like it. So the I picked, <laughs> I picked the location. Espen picked the exact position. Well, it does work well. So you can get so low to the water, which is number one, isn't it? Yeah. It's really good until the dogs come and kind of start licking your face and stuff like that. But other than that, it's pretty good. Dogs licking your face isn't too bad. Um, dogs attacking you and biting your leg is different. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's good because as well as getting low, you can get the reflections.
so that was a bit different today. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. It was quite nice uh, working with someone else for a change. And um, yeah, we got some good images. I'm very surprised because I thought we'd get really average images. In actual fact, we found a really good spot. And we got some really, really nice shots of the ducks and swans and also the black-headed gulls which uh, surprisingly you can get good pictures of black headed gulls if you try and they were kind of jumping up in the air and then hitting the water with the wings out and we, try, we were trying to capture that so uh, I'm not sure if it actually did um, but yeah really nice working with the autumn reflections there <laughs> there's a drone up there I think Espen's droning somewhere not drowning, drown, droning, droning not drowning <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out Espen Helen's channel and subscribe there and also my own channel uh, for more nature photography. And uh, yeah, I'll see you somewhere in nature sometime soon.